also their hair and accessory specialist. I'm here to talk to you today about what it's like to be in all phases of picking your accessories and talking about hair when it comes to being a bride. So you've picked out your dress, great, and now we need to talk about putting the whole look come together. That's going to be the most challenging for most brides to envision each element from your hair, your makeup, your dress, your shoes. Um, with my background in fashion and cosmetology, I can help you put that look together. An accessory for the hair is an utmost required in my behalf when working with every bride. When do you get to wear a tiara or something sparkly in your hair? It should be on your wedding day and it takes the look to level 10. It just separates you from everything else. Your imagery, your photography when it comes to hair looks even more gorgeous. If you look at everything on Instagram to Pinterest, a lot of those hairstyles are going to have an accessory. It doesn't have to be big. It could be something small. It could be a pin, a clip, a hairline, whatever you choose. After you've cho chosen your dress, your hairstyle can be anything you want. If you have a low back, by all means, you can wear your hair down, up to the side, all the way up. Whatever you choose, just know that the vision will come to life on the day of because you can't replicate that day of glow whatsoever. So after you've chosen your dress and you've come to Janine's for an accessories appointment, whether that be with me or another associate here, it'd be great to have the imagery of your dress so we can see that and some likes and dislikes of what you like in accessories that you've kind of researched yourself. Then we would take the time to kind of show you through different veils that would work great with your dress as well as different hair accessories but don't forget about earrings and bracelets those are also a touch of accessory that you can add to your full look so when I meet with the bride for the first time typically in a salon to do the um, a trial I like to have two looks that we go by and before that I like to have some imagery sent to me beforehand of your dress and again of what you're wanting in your hair, what you like and don't like. And those two looks can be completely different or it can be very something very similar. We spend the time to kind of work with your hair, take some imagery as well, so that way you can go back home, share it with your friends, look at it and compare what you like, what, what you don't like. And I like to have the trial done anywhere between two months to two weeks before your wedding date. And that's also a good time for us to get to know each other and feel each other out and get comfortable so that the day of you're more relaxed. When it comes to the venue and getting ready, there's definitely a space required for, typically that has like a bridal room. And that's an intimate time that you're spending with the people that you wanna be involved on that day. And I feel extremely honored to be a part of that day because it, again, it's so intimate. And that's a magical time too. And if you are a bride that changes your mind from your trial to the day of, don't worry because that happens probably 85% of the time for me. After the trial, you leave so happy, you're like, yes, this is my hairstyle. And then the day of, you have that time in between to think about it and you're like, I think I want to do this now. I just roll with it. It will look great, don't hesitate with it, and it will be the best. So I love hair and I've loved it for a long time. Again, with my background being in fashion, I've always kind of use that as inspiration. I've been doing wedding hair for probably, seems crazy to say this, but like 15 years. I started off like in high school doing just prom and now it's turned into something that is my absolute, absolute favorite thing to do because I get to have that one-on-one -on -one time with that bride and I get to see them from the beginning all the way to the end. And when I'm with you on your day of, I feel like I'm one of your bridesmaids, your best friend for like years. I'll help touch little things here, help you with your dress, help the photographer because you don't necessarily see all those details, but I like to have the perfect shot of the hair, of everything coming together. Creating an image in the hair and the accessory that goes with it truly is doesn't feel like work to me. It just is a craft of art that I just love to play with and a fabric of hair that I love to play with as well. So when it comes to your dress and your hair accessory, don't feel overwhelmed that if you have a sparkly dress, you can't have something sparkle in your hair. Again, always have a hair accessory in your hair. If your hair dress is more on the simple, elegant side, 
By all means, you can go simple and elegant on your hair with the accessory, or you can go a little bit more grand with it, whether that's sparkle, beaded, a hair vine, whatever you choose can work with your dress. It was lovely speaking with you today. I look forward to meeting you, hopefully here at Janine's. You can find my information down below, and I look forward to meeting everyone. Oh, 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 oh,